Hi Jungle Bars, welcome back to my channel. So today's gonna be a quick story time. I'm not gonna talk too much because I do have actual footage and I do have screenshots and everything like that. So you guys can also see. But what had happened was in this video is I'm setting up my, somebody I was talking to, seriously. And I was setting up his room for like a nice cute day. It was nothing special, nothing nothing crazy, nothing over the top. It was just me, you know, showing him how much I appreciate him. And you know, this and then third, and that was it. So, you know, the night before we had a great night. We were chilling, we were watching movies, he was cooking. You know, we had a great night, you know. He kissed me and he left the next morning for work, which the videos that I have, which the video that i have to show you guys is him the day of leaving for work and me and this is everything i did before he got home so the situation was i did the whole entire room came and come to find i called the downstairs lobby to see if he was home already my lips look so so um so what happened was i decorated the entire room pretty as it is you know i have his room key so i can see like when he comes in and out the room I called the downstairs Zest. They tell me that he's been in, in and out of his room since 3 o'clock, which is so confusing to me because it's just like, you saw that I did all of that and you chose not to reach out to me, not to do anything, none of that. So, I'm all, mind you, I'm already upset because I'm late. I didn't get to see his reaction. So, I get there and he's having a whole party. He's having, like, legit, he's having a whole party. Like, there's two guys, him and his friend, and then there's two girls some other girl but it looks like it looks like it was like a date night between them but he was like they're they were having a party or whatever the fuck the case may be but on the table you can see like there's confetti on the table with sheets and snickers and all this other stuff mind you in the heart that i made i put three snickers inside of there because he said he liked snickers and i was asking him throughout this whole entire day like what do you like what do you want me to cook what do you want me to try like what do you want me to do and he he was just so dull with his responses. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. But here's actual footage, actual details of everything that happened. Well, I would say, what would I say? I mean, I would I would like to blame myself because I can't blame anybody else. But you could also learn from your mistakes. And I just want to just show you guys what I did because I felt like I did a pretty good damn job. And I don't want my talents to go to waste. So, next you, if you guys need me on Valentine's Day or need help, like, just call my phone and I'll help you. i help you. I will help you. Being a good person that I am to an ain't shit ass nigga story time. So, this is what y'all gonna see. This is what y'all gonna hear. Y'all gonna hit, like, my, I'm excited in this moment and everything. And, like, the fact that that even happened, I was so, like, I was so heated. Like, I got there and I wanted to just flip the whole place upside down. But because of where he was and how stuff was established, I couldn't, like, show my actual emotions to how I was feeling. But the funny thing is, the following three or two days, he asked me if I was okay. What do you mean if I'm okay? The normal thing to do when somebody you're talking to does all of that for you is to contact them and be like, yo, come over like you did all of this and you're not here come here now like that's the type of energy that i was expecting the type of energy that i did not get which now means that tammy will not be opening up to the world so therefore i'm sorry for any future guys who are trying to talk to me in advance i already closed that door i'm not saying i'm gonna go to girls just saying like you guys are just not something that i'm studying anymore like you guys are just thrown in the garbage not thought of mm non-existent anymore to me to me at least let's get right into the video here's all the footage of me setting up the entire room and i hope you guys like this video i hope you guys comment what you guys feel guys like this video comment and don't forget to hit that notification button because you won't be missing any tjp and plus i found some cool art stuff that i could be doing now so it's about to be lit i'm about to be bill nine the science girl that's it um hmm what else i gotta tell y'all hmm nothing much but oh i got a trip coming up i got two trips coming up so i'm gonna be vlogging those uh -oh! 
Um, what else? Hmm, 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 hmm. So I'm not talking too much. Uh, 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 uh. I don't know, but let's get into the video. Um, don't forget to comment and tell me how you guys think my work was, how you guys like the setup. Like, let me know. Let me know what y'all think. They look adorable. Like, I love them. I mean, just in case if I need this for like a, um, a what's the name? A thumbnail. <laughs> what? But, um, they're so adorable. Oh, and there's more. But yeah, they're so adorable. I can't wait until they come clean the room so I can just lay everything out. I just realized that I had the freaking sign on the door said hi, I'm currently occupied. So I have to remove that sign from the door, call the front desk to tell them like, I'm done. I, I, I was like, you know, can you send somebody so they can clean up the room? So. Cute and they're so beautiful. I love roses and I really hope that they look looks cute like that. Are you it's cute. <laughs> So the bed is made up. Boom. Mm -hmm. So now I'm gonna try to perfect my craft. just trace it because that's my outline <laughs> You can make them mess, but you don't gotta clean them mess, okay? You don't gotta clean them mess, but you can make them mess. So I'm about to unpluck these little pebbles. I'm about to do these flowers. I wanted to be like, you know, fucking neat with it, but this is a lot of work.
gonna fix this damn light to make it stand. <coughs> Fine, we're gonna point it to the center of the pillow. We're gonna point it to the center of the pillows. No, God, it look good. It look good. It smell good. Beach. Beach. If any of the Valentine's Day specialists hit me up. <laughs> Boom, and I'm done. Are you all my personal dream? He told me that he likes sneakers. So I'm gonna go put some Snickers on the bed. I'm gonna go run home, take a shower, come back and see how everything's all played out. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> A little Tammy, did you know you had something in stores? However, I did not catch when like he had a party and everything because I was like so heated. But um, I just want you guys to know like, just don't put your oil, don't put your eggs in one basket because you never know what might happen. I mean, some people might say like put your eggs in one basket, but I feel I personally feel like you should not put your eggs in one basket or one basket because it's just like I be expecting something from some people and it's like they'll half-ass it you feel me and it's just like in this generation i feel like people don't know what like romance is anymore i feel like people are confusing love with lust now and it's kind of irritating and it's kind of getting annoying so yeah but i was just so annoyed about the situation i'm not gonna go into full details i just wanted to let you guys know and end on the story time juice but my little quarantine breakup. <laughs> Later, guys.